The all-electric sedan from U.S. manufacturer Talsa Mortars is now available in Japan. A single charge allows the car to travel up to twice as far as rival products from Japanese automakers. Three, two, one, zero. The first Model S sedan in Japan was delivered in Tokyo on Monday. Tesla uh, was, uh, or Tesla has already uh, marketed a, a sports a car model in the country. A full charge carries the model up to 502 kilometers. All of the batteries for the Model S are made right here in Japan. And the battery is the heart of the electric car, obviously. So another way of saying it is the heart of the Model S is Japanese. And I think that's a pretty cool thing. The starting price for the Model S is around $78,000 in the U.S. The company says government subsidies for electric car buyers will lower the price in Japan. Very easy to use. So. Tesla has opened a charging point in central Tokyo that's free for Model S owners. It plans to set up other stations throughout the country. Sales of all electric vehicles by major Japanese automakers have been sluggish. The entry of the Model S will likely boost competition. The big car companies assumed that you could not make a compelling electric car. That if you did make an electric car, it would be like a golf cart. I don't think there's anything quite like the Model S. Because the Model S is a premium sedan that's pure electric and has long range. I don't feel like we're sort of breaking in to, to sort of take market share because there's not, if you want a car that has those characteristics, there is only one. Some U.S. made, uh, some U.S. media rather have dubbed Tesla CEO Elon Musk the next Steve Jobs due to his management skills. He operates other businesses, including a solar energy company. Musk now has his eyes on space exploration. He operates SpaceX. It's a venture capital company developing spacecraft and rockets. In 2012, SpaceX launched an unmanned spaceship that docked with the International Space Station. The goal with SpaceX is to try to improve rocket technology to the point where it's possible for humanity to expand beyond Earth. SpaceX is only 12 years old. Um, so I think if you were to double the lifespan of SpaceX and assume an increased number of resources in the area under the curve over time, then we should be able to reach Mars. Musk says he thinks of what is important for the future of mankind and how he can contribute to achieving it. And that's what he calls his business model.